I'm exhausted, my legs are shot. Joints hurt bad, it's cold. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in once again. Today we got another one for you. It's 3.30 in the morning right now, 30 degrees out, and you can probably hear it in my voice how cold it is, but we're gonna try to run 10 miles right now. Just about a year ago, we did the first David Goggins video. It did really well, one of my best videos on the channel. But I made the decision yesterday, about like 20 hours ago, that I was gonna do it again. Fortunately, it's way colder. I'm heavier this year. Got some injuries, so there's definitely some things not working in my favor, but we're gonna actually try to complete it this time. Only got 16 miles last time, so we're gonna make sure we do 20. This video will not end until I have 20 miles. Also gonna get a full workout in this time. Last time it was just a light workout, and we should also have a baseball training session in as well. You probably think I'm crazy for wanting to do this again, especially with all these added circumstances, but I mean, I get it. it doesn't make much sense but i think the biggest reason why i'm doing it again is because what david goggins is all about is doing it each and every day getting after it doing stuff that's difficult doing stuff you don't want to do every single day this obviously is something i don't want to do something that's almost impossible for me given that i don't do this on a daily basis but if i can do this in this weather in these conditions what can i do the last time i did this was a year ago so like what have i done i haven't proven nothing I have to prove it to myself again today that I can do it. And I didn't even do it last time. So we're gonna do our best. We're gonna see what we got. And yeah, come along with me. Please, please subscribe, leave a like. The amount of pain I'm gonna be putting myself in for basically no reason is ridiculous. But if you guys could subscribe, I'd greatly appreciate it if you enjoy this content. Let's get to it. We are off. I'm freezing, this is terrible. We just started. It's gonna be a long day. We're just over a mile. I feel pretty good. Honestly, my legs aren't hurting yet. Breathing's a little tough in the cold, but all things considered, feeling pretty confident. I'm worried I might hit a wall because the limited like three hours of sleep I got, but we'll see. All right, we're at about 2.2 miles. We're definitely hitting that wall. Just gotta push through. Chest is hurting, it's cold. Legs are frozen, legs are getting numb. Remember, zero music, because David Goggins does not listen to music when he works out. Has all the motivation inside his head. So that's what we're relying on today. But I apologize if I don't get as much video. I really gotta focus here. This is getting tough now. So I'll see you when I see you. We're about to hit the five mile mark. I'm exhausted, my legs are shot. Joints hurt bad. Uh, it's cold. I don't even know, but just like last year, we're gonna keep, keep going, doing our best. Pace isn't great. I think it might be a little bit worse than last time, but given the conditions, I'm not too upset, so let's keep going. My pace is awful right now because my knees and my hips are killing me, but we're still going. It is definitely getting hard to pick my feet up. I just wiped out. About 20 feet back there so we're at seven miles though so we're almost done keep going we're nine miles in one to go as you guys can tell the pace is slow i'm hurting bad let me be real but we're almost there one mile left see you at the finish line We are officially done with 10 miles. I am 
in a ridiculous amount of pain right now as expected so we got a long way to go we're halfway done with the 20 miles two more five mile runs hopefully we get it i mean i'm getting it there's no way i don't so yeah next thing we gotta do is a workout so i think now's a good time to mention why you do something like this i mean it's completely self-inflicted pain so obviously i guess you get the satisfaction of knowing nobody else is doing it or at least very few people guys like david goggins are doing it every day on top of that it's really just it's a war between you and yourself you have you, nobody's out here but you it's you and your mind no music on top of that so you have nothing to distract you from the fact that you're in ridiculous pain and you're doing something you don't want to do for this long this early in the morning on little sleep in the cold you can see my breath right now and i would say if any one of you guys struggles with getting stuff like this done or maybe saying you're going to do something and then not doing it or maybe starting a task and not finishing it and it doesn't have to be a 10 mile run i can be a mile run it can be doing your homework stuff like that it can be as small as that but if you tell someone you're going to do it now you're putting that burden on yourself and you're letting the other person know that you're getting it done so if you don't get it done then you're disappointing yourself which might not be a big deal to you so if that's not a big deal then you're disappointing someone else who trusted and believed in you to get it done so when i do stuff like this I'll tell as many people close to me that I'm doing it. And in this case, I decided yesterday in the morning, as I was watching a David Goggins podcast that I've seen a million times before, that I was going to do this again and get it done correctly and complete it. I immediately texted three people. And throughout the day, as I saw people, former teammates, stuff like that, I told them that I was getting this done because then today five miles in three miles in seven miles in whatever i want to stop now if i didn't tell anybody nobody's going to know that i even started but since i told all these people it's like well i'm just disappointing them on top of myself so that makes it easier to get stuff done so i would recommend that now i'm going to try to take an ice bath and see if i can rejuvenate my legs a little bit and then i'm going to go get a workout in with my cousin you guys won't see a ton because i don't like filming myself in the gym but since my cousin is there I can get some video, but it's going to be a normal lift. It's going to be a lift as if I'm not doing this now. So that's what's going to be different from last year. Last year when I did this, it was a lift catered to this. No, we're not doing that this time. It's going to be a full chest, try, shoulder workout. And we're going to push through it after that. Hopefully get a five mile run in and then go from there. So catch you guys at the gym. We're about to start running our next five miles. Hopefully we can do this with decent pace. I don't think I will. My knees are shot, my hips are shot, my Achilles hurt, my hip flexor hurt. Yeah, we're just gonna do our best here and hopefully get done with these five miles and then we'll only have five left, so let's go. One mile down, four to go. This is tough. Knees are killing me. Last mile. We're almost done. I feel the finish line. But 
I'm in so much pain right now. It's unbelievable. But, man, keep going. We are done with the five miles. That was by far the worst run of my life of any distance. That was brutal. Knees are killing me. And I think I had to run an extra about half mile because my app froze. So that's not good. But we have the five miles track, so that's all that matters. Hopefully we got five left in me. I'll see you guys at the batting cages. All right, we're back out here, ready to run another five, hopefully. That's the goal. That's what I set out to do. I said I was gonna do it, so I kind of have to. We're gonna go until I can't. Last time I did this, I only went for a mile and like a fourth. So anything better than that is an improvement, but we gotta get five, but I'm in so much pain right now. Knees feel like I'm getting stabbed by a million knives. Pretty much everything that could hurt, hurts, so we'll see, but I'm not gonna film as much though because I just wanna get this done. But yeah, you guys will see at the end all the tracked runs, so you know I did it, if you didn't believe me already, but let's go. I'm gonna be real, I'm running this at a ridiculously slow pace. Feels like I'm walking, but I don't care what my pace is gonna be. We're almost at three miles. We gotta finish this, so keep going. We're finally done. 20 miles today. We did it, didn't think it would be possible. I mean, honestly, with everything considered, if I could do this, I mean, anybody can do it. And I think that's what you need to take from this video, but please leave a like, subscribe, and we'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.